Talk to Warren Spector about the world of Deus Ex and find more than a few surprises. Nothing to see here. And there's more good guys gone bad in our review of Fur Fighters, featuring a crack squad of cuddly commandos. Plus, the mitochondria are mutating again in Parasite Eve 2. Stick around. It's game time. Hello and welcome to GameSpot TV from Metreon. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Kate Patello. Adam Sessler, you have been playing so much Deus Ex yes, lately. Yes, yes, because I love this game. This is definitely my most favorite game in recent memory. It is a brilliant blend of action with well-implemented RPG elements. Absolutely, and the product director for that title, the very talented Warren Spector, has also had his hands in some really innovative titles like Ultima Underworld and Thief. And we had a chance to sit down and talk with him one-on-one -on -one about Deus Ex and gaming in general. We wanted to make a game that took the best elements of, of role-playing games and the best elements of uh, shooters and the best elements of, uh, of adventure games and brought them all together. The idea was uh, to let players decide how they wanted to interact with the game. What we wanted to do in, in Deus Ex is create a game where if you want to sneak, you can. If you want to fight, you can. And there are consequences for both of those choices. I was so tired of fantasy games and medieval dungeons and you're the last guy in the space station who can save the world from alien invasion. I mean, I was really tired of that. So I wanted to do a game set in something like our world, if not exactly our world. So at some time in the near future, uh, you can decide what the actual date is. You're a, uh, a nanotechnologically augmented agent for an anti-terrorist organization uh, who thinks he's fighting for the right and knows what's right and wrong, good and bad. Uh, and the, he discovers during the course of the game that things are not as clear as, as he thought. Uh, and really, he's uh, a pawn in a game being played by uh, massive conspiracies to control the world, all based on real-world conspiracy theories. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around. Interactivity is all about making choices. In most games, uh, the choices boil down to pull the trigger, don't pull the trigger. We really want, uh, want to allow choices that have some, uh, some meat, that have some consequences. Nothing to see here. Move along. Deus Ex has a lot of dialogue. Uh, we've got over 10,000 lines, uh, which is insane, by the way. I should never have done that. I wanted players to be able to interact with people. You have to make some tough choices during this game about who you trust, who you don't trust, whether you pull a trigger or not. Uh, and you, you have to make those choices with some information. We want to be by ourselves. Want to get something to eat after this? Hello. You work very, very hard, and sometimes you make a game where people can express themselves and, and explore who they are. It's one of the, the real powers of gaming. We can, we can let people test behaviors in a virtual setting that we don't even want them trying out in the real world. We decided not to do multiplayer, specifically because we thought um, multiplayer is just a completely different game. In multiplayer gaming as it exists today, I think one of the real problems is people are, are just creating a world and dropping a bunch of players in it and saying, hey, go, hope you find some fun. And that seems like an abdication of the designer's responsibility to me. Single player, I think we have the power to, to tell cool stories in collaboration with our players. And I cringe every time I hear somebody say, you know, is single player gaming dead? You know, over my dead body. I do really, at this point, exclusively first-person games. I have no interest in, in allowing players to manipulate a, a little puppet on the screen. That's just not very interesting to me. First-person cr is critical. Y'all hawk. The PC gets more powerful exponentially. But as developers, what we have to do is, is make sure we're using that power for good and not evil. I don't want to use it for more effective, uh, you know, ways to pull triggers. We've got to start moving in other directions. And that's a design challenge, not a technology challenge. The creator of the game is not the important thing. The player is the important thing. You have to start with uh, the question, what do I want the player to experience here? And then you have to strip away everything that gets in the way of that experience, no matter how cool it is.
every once in a while I beat my head against a wall and say, why am I doing this? Why don't I do something the easy way? Just do a shooter, you know? Just do a, an action game. Just do something simple. Um, but then I wake up and I go, no, that's crazy. That'd be boring. What I enjoy is creating an, a, an environment where uh, players can express themselves and create their own experiences. Uh, I don't think about it as me creating this thing. I think about them experiencing it. That's the important thing to me. If you haven't gotten to check out Deus Ex for yourself, we're going to have more of it later on in the show with our review. And now, here's the news.